Hi, hello. Uh, my name is Tasqa Adamu. Uh, on this video, I will uh, try to show you how to analyze uh, data obtained from simple lattice or alpha lattice design uh, in single location using uh, multiple threads. So in order to analyze this one, you need uh, load, uh, you need install and load uh, the following package. Uh, if you don't have this package in your uh, computer, you should install it first and then you can load it using the package, the function called library. So this is for the mean, estimating the adjusted mean. Open Excel SX for saving to in using the Excel format. Table in order to create an entity data frame in order to store uh, your output from the analysis. And a library multi-comp it is used to, to make a multiple comparison and also to show compact meter display. Library uh, or read Excel will be help us to uh, read uh, Excel files when our data is saved in Excel file. So, uh, and the next step is you should set uh, the working directory. So, setting the working directory is can be done in two ways. The first one is you can give the direct path of your working, uh, your directory. So that in this case, in my case, it is desktop and then data example are training. So I will do like this or either I will go to here and then I will go uh, home or on desktop. In my case, it is, other, it is in, a, in the desktop. So I will click the desktop and then I will go to data example for training and then I will go here on this setting uh, icon. So I will save it as, uh, or I will set it as a working directory. So that is, uh, you can do like this. Okay. Uh, so the next step will be uh, read the data. So or import or read the data, read uh, the data. So the data is uh, saved as uh, book to Excel X. So I will directly, if you want to read the data in the quotation, if you uh, touch the tab, menu you will list you uh, the uh, uh, the data available or the files available in your working directory so that since i am interested to use uh, book to i would select that one and then this is in excel file so since it is an excel file i should uh, give uh, the sheet number which one is the sheet one or your data is in sheet one sheet two and sheet three if you have multiple sheets otherwise uh, if you have a single sheet not necessarily be informing the sheet name uh, also or the sheet number so in this case the first sheet since i didn't give the name uh, the sheet name uh, in this case so i only give uh, the number of the sheet so the first sheet so i will save it i will read from the first sheet so let's read and this is the data so i have rep block treatment and uh, eight traits the next step is I will change it to data data frame because it's sometimes interesting to have manipulation purpose, otherwise it doesn't have any effect. So this is good. Then we have these headers, check. Uh, and then uh, after you check the header, the next step could be uh, you can make some summary statistics. So summary statistics is uh, interesting. It gives you how, how your data is especially for the numeric data it will give you some information the minimum the maximum the interquartile here for example if you consider the trait 8 for example it is range from 20 to 48 it is the mean is 31 and the median is 31 points so you can check it how it is normal or deviated for example in some case there is a deviation here 0 to 7 and something like that so you can adjust if you see it's some differences you can uh, easily identify the difference and then the problem and you can make some correction for it out of a future analysis. The next step is to uh, list the trait of interest that to be analyzed. In this case, trait one up to trait eight. So here I can list uh, the traits. So trait two. Trait three, uh, in your case, you can write completely. Trait four, trait five, 
after h6 after h7 and then create height so this is the list of the trace so if you go here it will and this uh, so the c this c is concatenate so it is all combined all together that's all so we have create eight traits then the next step is uh before this i think is an important step uh, define uh, define the mathematical uh, model of the design uh, in this cell the lattice design is uh, like this y i j k i is the genotype j is the replication and k is the uh, incomplete block so we have them we have the rep and then we have block with them rep plus uh, genotype plus error this is uh, how you set your model so it means uh, uh, these are the factors of uh, for this analysis that is the replication the block and genotypes are the factors for simple lattice. So we should change this uh, uh, variables into factor. So in this case, it is read like uh, in, in this uh, data, as we see it, uh, the genotype is uh, 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 named as treatment. So I will go here and then I change it to treatment. And the rep is coded as rep, it's okay. The block is coded as BLC, so that's okay. So I will uh, change to factor this uh, variables, and then I will check if it is already changed. Now the genotype is okay changed, the block is changed, and the rep is already changed. So that it is, uh, is uh, our data is in a good shape, and the other data to be analyzed are in numeric format, so they are good. So the next step is. Uh, you should create an entity table in order to store your outputs. So in this case, we are interested to store the mean individual uh, uh, location, or in this case, we have only single location, so uh, the location mean. The second one is the ANOVA table for the traits. So I will create this entity table. And then the next step is in this analysis is first is we should remove the outlier using our studentized method in this case I used. So since it's, it's replicating, you can do the analysis of variance and estimate the, uh, the residual. After that, the residual, we will calculate our studentized uh, value. And then if the absolute value of the R studentized is greater than three, we consider that our, that individual as an outlier of that observation as an outlier. So this is what I did in this case. And then the outlier will be indexed as in the out. And so if the in the out is zero, means if there is any outlier, the our uh, data one will be the same as uh, the previous data here. But if this in the out is different or it has different from zero or the length is greater than zero, it means so we should remove that uh, outlier. So we can remove by doing this dot minus uh, the reference the index so we are removing the index and then we save as, as data one so this data one will be used for the subsequent uh, in the subsequent analysis here okay so in this case we fit the model like this the genotype the rep block within rep as referred in the uh, mathematical model here the mathematical model uh, here okay so the output of this ANOVA then will be come here as an input for this ANOVA function in order to have the ANOVA table. And then we attach the trait of interest in order to not lose the information. So in order to know which ANOVA is for each trait. And the next part is I want to add a source of variation column from the ANOVA table. So my source of variation in this case is the genotype, the replication, block within a rep, and residual so i will attach this source of variation with this anova table and after that where before the degree of freedom so before the degree of freedom table uh, column he will put this source of variation column 
install then I will uh, remove the name the uh, row name so that I don't need since I already put it inside the table so finally I will save it as an over table the next step is uh, in order to uh, we will do is to produce the LSME for the analyzed uh, geno the genotypes so for each thread so in this case I will take the ANOV output as an input and then I will say I will uh, define for which uh, factor I want the mean. In this case, I want the mean for the genotype since rep and block are not our interest. So I will put a genotype here and then he makes the mean and save it as EN and I attach the thread for each in order to not lose the information. And finally, I will combo, I will store this uh, mean using the we using the table what I have created uh, in the first part of this uh, script. So now after that I will run this script. So create the table and then run the analysis. That's over. So the analysis is done. And the next step is uh, we want to create, for example, uh, one table that include the genotype and the thread in the column and genotype in the row. So for this, we use the reshape function. And then this in the reshape uh, uh, package, we have decast function. In this decast, you can give it the long uh, type data. This is the long type data, as you see it. The traits are uh, uh, listed, and the genotype are listed in this manner. So I will put this one. And then I will give the formula how I want the table to be arranged. So in the row, I will put the genotype. In the column side, I will put the threads. And then which one is the information we want to make it put? LSME. So I will put LSME here. Then till done. So this is the blue. And then here is the white type. So we have genotype 1, 2, 3 something. Thread 1, thread 2, thread 3. Everything is uh, uh, put as uh, as you are. So the next step is to save our final output into our uh, computer. So in this case, what we're going to do is first is uh, uh, create a list that combine all of the output we have pro we, we produced in the previous analysis. So the first one is, for example, the blooming white means the genotype by trait, this one. The second one is uh, uh, mean blooming of each trait with a com uh, uh, compact liquor display and standard error, confidence interval, everything. So I will save it like that. And then th the third one is an table. So I will save this as an out. So if you check here out, you will have the an table first and then the compact liquor display and then uh, the wild type data. And finally, I will save this uh, using the OpenXLX file. We have the function called uh, of write XLSX. So I will give this output here as an input for X, and then I will give the uh, name of uh, the file I want to give to. Uh, I want to give. In my case, I will give summary blooming in Danova for that is design example dot XLSX. This extension is an important part because if you don't put the extension, uh, the saving will not be done. So overwrite true means if I have the, uh, the name of the genotype is saved in this name, it will uh, substitute. And then the row name is false means don't take the row name of this each data. OK, then I will write. OK, now as you see, here is uh, the output is saved here. So if it is correctly saved, you can check it. Uh, it in the by visualizing it in this case uh, for each file will be saved in each workshop so now it is open so uh, here you can see it this is the output file so the first one is uh, the blooming in wide type that is genotype by trait the second one is uh, individual uh, traits but it includes the compact letter display like this okay in all cases there are some difference some not different okay and the next part is ANOVA table 
the anode variable is for each genotype, for example, reverse significant, non significant, degree of freedom is rate is 2, and genotype 80, something. So, like this trait 1, trait 2, trait 3, trait 4, for each trait will be uh, available here. So, this is a source of variation with genotype trait, block rate, and residual. So, you can take this one to uh, your report as you like. So, uh, uh, this is uh, the uh, analysis are uh, using R for simple lattice design. So thank you very much. So uh, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe and uh, share for your friends. If you subscribe, you can get uh, an information when uh, I uh, upload the new file. So uh, in the next video, I will, pr I will present for you how to analyze simple lattice over location. Thank you very much for your attention. See you by next by my next video. Thank you.